The following lesson is linked to learning outcome two, reading and viewing, and addresses the assessment standard that requires learners to explore and explain key features of texts and how they contribute to meaning. Learners should be able to identify and explain the purpose, structure and language use in texts across the curriculum. Oh hi, I'm Becky. For the past couple of lessons, we have been learning about newspapers and the different types of articles that we find in them. The main aim of these lessons is to develop the skills to become active and informed readers. In other words, readers who understand that different texts have different intentions and need to be approached in different ways. The lesson today focuses on feature articles. Generally, the feature articles are found further inside the newspaper than the plain news pieces. Sometimes, there is even a separate section where the features are collected. One of the ways that you can think of the difference between a news article and a feature article is like this. The news article is like a sprint. They get information to the reader quickly and in the most direct manner possible, they lay out the facts but don't give too much background information or insightful comments. A feature article is like a marathon. They are longer and take the scenic route. Feature article is generally much longer than a news article and because of this, there's more time for the writer to develop ideas. You could think of the feature article as being more like an essay. It doesn't just give the facts, it includes examples, descriptions, opinions and alternate ideas. So there is definitely some space for creativity. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to explain the difference between a news article and a feature article, identify some of the stylistic devices feature writers use. Now let's take a look at the kinds of topics that a feature writer might cover. Interviews with famous people. Travel features about places in the world. Many histories about a certain time or person. Articles that tell us a little bit more about the world we live in. And the things that people are doing. Did you see that the types of features are varied and cover a wide range of topics? In the Sunday Times, the lifestyle section contains a lot of feature articles. So, we asked the editor of the lifestyle section, Bongani Madondo, to give us more information about what the feature section of the newspaper is all about. A features article, there's no single definition, but what it means is that it's not, it's not news-based per se, or it doesn't have to be news-based. It can be, but it's not a breaking news story. Uh, you've got more space um, and the writing is quite different in the sense that you, you, you are allowed more creativity to express yourself, to capture the sounds, the images, the features, the wishes of the people that you're writing about or the social issues that you're writing about, unlike the news stories which is concerned about the five W's and H, why, how, when and all that. The news is short and punchy. You just want to find out what happened, where. We're asking the question, why? What lifestyle do, essentially, is to take all the stories that other people are doing, either we are the first on the ball, or we follow what other people are doing, but the idea is to go deeper than what other people are doing. So we mix a combination of observation, analysis, and news. For a weekly newspaper like the Sunday Times, a feature section is very important. Remember, as we saw in the first lesson, people read newspapers for all sorts of different reasons. Some read for news about the world that we live in. Some read for gossip about celebrities. Some read for entertainment. And because the Sunday Times comes out on the weekend, 
There is also the need to provide readers with something relaxing and interesting to read on those lazy Sunday afternoons. Ryan Fortune, deputy editor of the feature section of the Sunday Times, tells us more. I think what makes it good is that it's it's kind of a break from the all the political hard news, the crime and that sort of thing. It's a it's a kind of, the kind of thing that you can sit down with and read. And we, you know, we, in our design, we try and sort of be very creative with pictures. You know, we'll run huge pictures and maybe not so much text, but it's it's the kind of it's the kind of thing that people, you know, you put it on the coffee table, and it's something you can read, you can dip into it, and you'll find something that you possibly never you never read anywhere else before, you know. You always will be surprised by what we decide to put into, into the lifestyle, you know. It's like things like we have the technology section, so you'll you maybe read about internet dating, you know, new websites, you'll read about arts, you'll read about, you know, uh, weird hairstyles, you know. So it's always like kind of off the wall, it's wacky, and it's surprising for people. And it's kind of, you know, I think people like to be surprised. Because features are often quite long and go into a lot more detail than other types of articles, we asked Ryan if he thought a good feature writer should be an expert on what they are writing about. They don't necessarily, uh, reviewers don't necessarily have to be experts in the things they write about. They do have to have a kind of a prior interest in it. They do have to undertake to do the basics of journalism, which is like do some research, you know. and. As writers and commentators, they need to have something interesting to say, you know, and that comes from research. It comes from like reading other books in the field or reading up on the subject, you know. Let's try and sum up the main points that Bongani and Ryan have shared with us. Feature articles can be written at any time. In other words, they are not front page news stories about something that has just happened. Features are a lot more flexible. Feature articles can be written about any topic. Whereas news articles are often about serious topics like politics, the economy, or crime. Feature articles can be very serious or very silly. They can be wise or they can be wacky. Features add variety to a newspaper, but their intention is always to tell readers something that they didn't already know. But don't forget that feature articles are still always researched and based on facts. Just because a feature article is about a light-hearted subject does not mean a journalist can make it up. The writer must still find out the facts and interview the experts and the people with experience on the subject. Let's discuss the style of a feature article by having a look at an example. Here's the introduction of an article by Prega Govinda about farm workers. Josiah McQuena hummed a tune as he drove along the gravel road that led to Morgan Stair Farm. It was the day before Christmas, and the 51-year-old former farm labourer was in high spirits. But his good humour evaporated when he noticed three pieces of wire crudely fastened around the rusty iron gate, barring entry to the farm. As he broke the wires on December the 24th, 2001, little did he realize that his act of defiance would haunt him forever. The style of this piece of writing is quite different to the style that you would find on the front page of the paper. If the same information was written as a new story, it would sound more like this. Yesterday, farm worker Josiah McQuena, 51, entered the Morgansdale farm estate by breaking through wires closing the farm gate. As you can see, the two styles are quite different. Try to identify some of the stylistic devices that the writer of the feature uses. How does this affect the way that you read the text? The style that the writer uses is almost like the beginning of a story. The writer paints a picture in the reader's head of the main character. We know the man's name is Josiah Mugwena, and we have a picture of him happily driving along and singing to himself. Then, almost like watching a movie, the writer describes for us what Josiah sees, 
and old rusty gate tied shut with wire. And then we have a sentence that gets us curious. We know that something bad is going to happen when we read that his act of defiance, his going against the rules, would haunt him forever. The way the author grabs our attention makes us want to keep reading. This is the mark of good feature writing. Here are some more advice from Fred Kumalo on writing styles. I think some of the qualities of good writing, especially when you're writing features and opinions, is the ability to, 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 to grab the attention of, of, your, of your reader. And that can be achieved through entertaining writing, writing that is accessible, writing that is uh, straight to the point. Uh, you avoid long, winding sentences. You try to use snappy and uh, short sentences and words. Um, and, uh, and of course, try and uh, ask yourself whenever you write something, uh, would this appeal to me if I were not the writer, if I were the reader? Would I make sense to myself? You, see, you try and, and be critical to, to your own self. As a reader of a feature article in the newspaper, you should be able to trust that the information that you're being given is factual and based on research. But just how objective is it? A feature article will be written from the point of view of the writer, and the writer definitely will have an intention. Perhaps the intention is to let us know a bit more personal information about famous people, or to make us want to go to a place. The intention could be to give us the new way of thinking about history, or even just to make us laugh at how funny we human beings are. The point is that the writer of the feature wants to get a certain type of reaction out of the reader. Whereas, the news article is generally telling people the facts of what is going on in the world. So where would you put the feature article on our diagram showing objectivity? I'd put it about here. The feature is definitely still based on facts and research. But as we've seen, there is more of the writer's own point of view that comes across. Well, here is your task for today. Find an example of a feature article. Read the first paragraph carefully. Now, try to rewrite this paragraph as if it was a news article. This will mean you will need to take out all the words that are descriptive and that appeal to the imagination. You must only leave behind the facts. Thanks for joining me today. I look forward to seeing you for our next lesson where we'll be looking at reviews. But from me, Becky, until next time, goodbye.